the Leninist system was one of the greatest blows that socialism suffered in the uh, 20th century, maybe second only to fascism. I mean, as Lenin took power among its first acts, along with Trotsky, were to destroy the socialist institutions that had arisen in the pre-Bolshevik period. Uh, Soviets, uh, factory councils, uh, constituent assembly, which was dominated by left social revolutionaries, largely peasant-based. And of course, they went to war against the anarchists, a major war to try to wipe them out, the Mahmoud's army and so on. And there was a sort of a logic behind it. Uh, they were orthodox Marxists, unlike Marx, incidentally. Uh, they believed in a version of Marxism that said that uh, revolution can't come in a backward peasant society, which is what Russia was. It was what we would now call a third world country, an undeveloped peasant society, with some development, but owned by the West and so on. I mean, a, a highly educated and productive intellectual class, but that's also true of third world societies. So they thought this couldn't happen. So therefore we have to drive this backward population through industrialization by force. And then later on by the iron laws of history and so on and so forth uh, will come to socialism. Of course, it's all nonsense, but uh, uh, so they essentially laid the basis for a totalitarian system uh, with an ideological doctrine behind it. When the Soviet Union collapsed, I actually wrote an article uh, saying this is a victory for socialism, small victory for socialism. I just couldn't get it published. Nobody knew what I was talking about. The world's two major propaganda systems, the West and the uh, Soviet Union, they both decided, made, determined to use the word socialism to refer to the totalitarian system of the Soviet Union. I mean, the West did it to discredit socialism. The Bolsheviks did it to try to gain you know, the credit associated with genuine socialism. Well, when the world's two propaganda systems agree, it's going to be very hard for people to extricate themselves from it. So now socialism, as the term, has been degraded to mean the form of totalitarianism instituted by Lenin and carried through by Stalin. And I was going back to Spain. It was entirely natural that they should be in the lead in destroying the popular revolution. Bakunin, much earlier, had predicted all of this. He said that in, in the future, it will be two forms. Uh, one form will be they'll take over the state and they'll create a red bureaucracy which will be the most um, vile and brutal regime the world's ever seen. And there are others who will understand that they can't take over the state so they have to serve concentrated private power and state power and they'll be the technical intelligentsia who you know, uh, implement the policies of the masters and uh, what we now call um, liberal democracies, which is a very good prediction. It's one of the few predictions in the social sciences that actually came true, which is one of the reasons why nobody ever studies it. It's much too dangerous, too insightful.